Hi everyone, original page. This one you've seen me do. I'm going to do this page. Don't care that it's not completely white. I'm going to use this postcard I've purchased on in Victoria and Albert Museum in London. Love that place. Each time I'm in London, I'm going to this <laughs> museum. And this is going to be my focal point. It's going to be another one. A quick a original page the kitchen is almost <laughs> done I'm almost done also so I don't have enough time but I do need an outlet so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to put this uh, here on my page and I'm going to do something around it Sometimes I think I need to start each video with I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> So I've got some washi tape. I uh, you've seen me use uh, the washi tape here the other uh, Mostly the green colors now. I'm just going to use this Again don't have a clue <laughs> where it's going. I'm just playing with what I've got and we'll just see so the washi tape is mostly for some kind of detail and it doesn't matter if what will be left shown and what not just playing around not caring too much where everything goes and always at the start it looks a mess just keep going <laughs> until you like what you see just keep going and now I'm trying to find the start of this it's a new um, set of washi tapes so okay I give up next I don't have time for it I've got this uh, stamp set that I think will work here in the background it's not and important really but I do want it in the background I'm going to start stamping it with I've got Momento Olive Grove I hope it will be enough uh, I don't want it to steal the focus from this I just want it in the background so I'm going to start with this and We'll see. Now I'm not even looking for a fine print. I'm just stamping it for the details. Let's put another one here. Yeah. And it seems like this color is okay. So I'm going to just continue stamping with it. And let's do this one. Most of it is going to get covered, mostly. Yeah. Okay. So, moving this aside, I want to blend the postcard more into my page. So, I'm thinking some stenciling, and I thought about start adding some texture. So, I first I thought. I will use some modeling paste, uh, but then I don't have time to wait for it to dry. So what I'm going to do, it's going to be very rough uh, texture. I'm just going to take some, let's see, some of the modeling paste. You can take a gesso also, it really is not important. Let's put something here before I move doing some damage so here is the modeling paste and let's take some a brush and I'm taking something with hard bristles and I'm just going to go over brush it over like this you can also use your finger it's really doesn't matter 
and it doesn't matter if you got a crisp image you're just adding texture to my page and it's going on top of the postcard so it will incorporate it into the rest of the page better I will do need for it to dry but uh, it would be less of a hassle and time because it's very thin so I've got this maybe some more whoopsie okay let's try <laughs> I'm trying to be quick so I'm making some damage and let's use this one I don't know mm. just going quickly about it and I went too much off okay Do I want something <laughs> a little bit more? I think so. Here at the bottom. I need to do it very gently so I won't ruin what I've already done on top or at the top of the page and not ruin my image on the postcard. I just want it a little bit on top. Let's see if I can do it with like this yeah even better just smearing the modeling paste and again you can use gesso so I'm just smearing it with my finger okay letting it dry and then I'm coming back I'm back so let's hope it's dry enough as I said I need to be quick about it I've got some watercolors but you can use whatever you have I've got some sprays basically I want some something that will flow with the texture and I'm starting with a dark brown basically you can use whatever you have it doesn't have to be watercolors it doesn't have to be sprays it can be any water syllable a uh, thing you you've got and as I said I'm being quite a uh, well free and quick and I don't care I can do the sprays as you've seen just putting it wherever I think it needs to go and let's see just letting it flow I've decided uh, on the brown because it's a little bit of vintage and I've decided on this color because that's what she has in her gown and I would probably use uh, some olive green because that's what I've stamped and I think it goes nicely with the rest of the colors basically I'm playing and we'll see what happens let's try to be a little bit more quick here is some um, olive green 
once again I don't care that it goes on top of my postcard I'm just going to a little bit clean here and let's see well this is too pink putting it aside let's see I want more of the brown I really liked the brown especially at the edges it frames the page and I always dark darker edges uh, edges <laughs> You see what's going on? I'm trying to be quick and I'm everything is getting mixed up. I'm trying to add color but letting it mix with the rest. I don't want harsh lines. I want it to flow and if I still have something that is like a harsh line like if I do something like that then I will take a water and spray and let it spread just a little bit darker yeah and I still feel I need a little bit more green let's try this one going in here if you've noticed I've covered the next page it was too distracting to work <laughs> when it showed So you can also help the watercolors or whatever you are using. Let's add a little bit of this brown, beige, whatever. Just so I will have more shades, more variation in the color. Yeah. Okay letting this dry and we'll see what happens then because sometimes when uh, either watercolors or the sprays dry they are less vibrant i will see after it dries uh, if i need to add something i'll be back okay i'm back and i really like what's going on here but i still miss uh, more details in the back some of it got covered with what I've put on top so I have this uh, stamps that I'm again going to uh, play around my page I've took two uh, distress inks by Tim Holtz walnut stain and ground espresso and we'll see I'm gonna start with and I want my texture to be a little bit more em uh, emphasized on the page so what I'm going to do is take the ground espresso with this dauber I think and I'm gonna try and go from bottom to top and that it will give it a little bit more definition I want the darker color underneath my texture and it doesn't have to be perfect the whole point of this is to be grungy antique vintage whatever you want to call it <laughs> be chic <laughs> so and i'm also dabbing in some places that i think it's needed no rules i'm just adding where i think it's needed as i said and playing around with what I've got I think it worked okay so some stamping let's see let's take something like this 
and edit to my page. I'm uh, now using the walnut stain because again I want to add details without stealing from my focal image. Yeah, I hope by the end I will remember to bring it closer to the camera so you can see what I've done, all the details. Okay, I'm just replacing this with another stamp just so again some variation not repeating the same thing over and over again yeah seems to be working <laughs> like it now I just want some script and for this I think I will return for the darker color, the ground espresso, just in a few places. And I'm just taking a little bit and adding. It's just visual texture. yeah just a little bit more that's it yeah i know it's a mess but i like this mess <laughs> let's move this so i can see what's going on and taking a step back so i have a little bit of mess here but i think it's okay i think i can live with it that it's not I will just go and gently clean a little bit it's good that it's a postcard and it's glossy so most of the time I can remove what I don't want yeah okay maybe it could uh, use some uh, something more i'm not sure but i'm going to leave it be that's the the time i have got for this page mostly i'm satisfied <laughs> so i'm bringing it in just so you will see all the details that's it so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me a comment down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.